be some gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. And today we're checking out Level 2, Escape from Bricksburg Free Play for the Lego Movie Video Game. You can see on the left-hand side, those are the characters we actually used in order to complete this. Uh, the ones you use could be a little bit different, but uh, make sure you have the correct abilities before attempting to complete this. Otherwise, you'll find yourself playing the level over and over again. We recommend that you beat the f uh, story mode all the way before you attempt trying to beat any of the free plays. But we cannot control you. We can only suggest. So we uh, show you where Escape from Bricksburg free play starts out here, which is right in Bricksburg. We select our characters and we get off and running. Would like to note before we get too deep into this that uh, we actually have sped this up a little bit, as well as removed all of the cutscenes, including any of the upload virus scenes too. Uh, so no more bouncing Pac-Man scenes. Uh, that's all over. So, oh to the yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and get a few studs. As you can see, we do have the uh, giant multiplier on for getting all the red brick studs, or red brick stud multipliers. That is. And um, we are using Fembot in this level. We find Fembot extremely useful because not only does she have all the character abilities, but she also has the heat ray and uh, also is able to hack computer terminals too. So uh, very useful indeed. As you can see, we use the heat ray to take out the bad guys. And now we've cleared out the room completely. We're going to take Emmett and his da -da 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 drill, get over there and plow through that crack. B -b 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 crack. All right, things come tumbling down, including a wall that Fembot can jump up on, which is nice. She's pretty powerful, too, with her ray and punches, being that she is a robot. It was a funny angle right there. Don't judge me on that one. All right, we made it all the way up. Now a couple more dudes come out. Oh, no. And anybody else remember Mr. Bill? Oh, no, it's Mr. Bill. Totally random, too. My friend Bill just got on Skype, and it notified me in the corner right as I said that. Not even joking. What up, Rumpo? Uh, you guys have probably heard me talk about our good friend Rumpo. Uh, spoiler alert, his real name is Bill. Hopefully he doesn't get mad at me for that. But uh, it was good timing, though, for sure. All right, we've, uh, we're have we familiar with how this works. We slide across with the female. We knock the box down, build the bricks up bounce up and then da -da 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 drill the rooftop and then we get inside and push the button which opens up the secret awesome room there a couple more baddies come in we take care of them and destroy the fan on the back wall then building it up you do need a master builder but we have selected Emmett master builder for the extra character for the toggle so we always have ourselves a master builder on hand or not always but most of the time Use the heat ray from the laser or from Fembot to open that up. Obviously, you have other options for the laser, too, but uh, just to make things quick and easy. And then take her into the back of the room and use the computer terminal. And booyakashow. Look at that. We hacked that quick style. You do have to go in and complete the game. We did just edit that out. But what it does is it opens up this whole secret squirrel room back here and allows us to go ahead and get owned. No, but it does uh, allow us to find the pants. So there's quite a puzzle here. The one thing that Fembot can't do is grapple hook, so we'll switch to Wonder Woman. Pull that grapple open, and up inside here, we'll use Emmett to rebuild the uh, transformer, or whatever this is. Once we have the power solved there, it actually removes power from the wall, but who cares? We can fly. We can fly, we can fly, we can fly. All right, so we have quite a few things to destroy. Uh, I do have a kind of a moment of like, duh -duh, coming up here. We see some rainbow blocks on the far right side of the room, so we'll go ahead and switch to uh, one of the kitties. We happen to have Astro Kitty, who is also able to hack terminals and can handle rainbow blocks as well. And the rainbow blocks we built give us a nice little bedazzled pole to jump up onto. And not that we really need it, because again, we can fly. But we do need to get up in this room here and push that handle over. We can't do that until we do a couple of things down below. Oh, some studage. I mean, look at this. We're, we're way above and beyond any studs that we need. The trophy for a billion is a little bit ridiculous, if you ask me. It should be like a hundred billion or a, a, a trillion, maybe. Something hard. Like, I got it in one level with the multiplier bricks, that is. And, um, okay. So, flip the switch with Emmett's special tool. That actually fills the checkerboard up. 
it allows us to then push this goo. I don't know what it is. It looks like a bunch of boogers in a tube. And uh, once that happens, it allows us access over to the right, which we've already been here, man. So we're just kind of backtracking here. So following the pathway, you go up top here. Oh, and the door is open, which allows us to then push this handle over. Again, we can fly, so it doesn't matter. But what it does is cues open that door and allows us to get over there and then hack another terminal. Whee! Look at that. She can spin to win, and that's a good second jump there. We get up inside here, and we switch on over to Astro Kitty. Actually, you can use whoever you want. But anybody who can hack the terminal, Benny, Astro Kitty, Fembot. We used Fembot. I was just kidding. But uh, then you can come down here. There's uh, definitely a few things to destroy on the home front down below. It takes me a minute to figure this out. I'm actually trying to uh, figure out. Let's see here. What do I do with these red things? It cued me that I needed to come this way. But then it looks like something's pinching our power flow on these cords here. So I decide, you know what? I'm going to take these out. And it doesn't really do much for me yet, but it appears as though once I get all four of them, it does the last thing needed here. So destroy all four of the red things. Destroy the two uh, on the front side. The two, I don't know what they are, power terminals. And then there's two on the back side too. So there's another one. We'll go ahead and switch to Emmett and then drop down on the back side of the other side. And then Booyaka Shao. And once those are all gone, we uh, realize that the pants are actually just floating up in the area there. So <laughs> that may have gone on a while ago. My bad. But uh, regardless, the pants are up on the middle platform here, straight back from us. Get your jump on, Fembot. There you go. And we see him. So Buika Shao pants are now on. Where's my pants? Then we can sneak back out through the door on the left. Drops us right back out in the main room. Uh, it appears as though we'll have to grab all those instruction manuals again, but after grabbing one, it uh, recognizes that we have all three. So a little bit of a weirdo situation there, too, just kind of like in level one. Another quick find and build moment, which is uh, kind of one of our new favorite additions. In fact, I, out of all the things that they added, which wasn't a whole lot, but, uh, you know, they improved the swimming mechanic for sure. And they added this and this. That was pretty cool. I like it. They also removed all of the puzzle blocks, you know, the ones you have to line up and build like Tetris and get them exactly perfect or it won't work. And sometimes it'll take an hour and a half. Yeah, I know you know which ones I'm talking about. All right. So once you build the ladder and climb up top, you're on the second level. At this point, you can actually take one of your characters and fly up and around. Or you can actually build the piece on the left and, you know, follow the bedazzled puzzle here. And out on the left-hand side ledge, there is a mini kit. That's actually our first gold instruction manual of the area. So, and if you're just looking for mini kits, feel free to go ahead and use the quick links down below in the video description. All you have to do is click on the time and it'll take you right to whatever mini kit or the pants or whatever it is you're after. We try to... Any collectible videos we have, we try to always offer the quick links to help you guys get to what you need quicker. And uh, it's a sure a lot faster than just skimming through and looking for text or trying to find it in the level. So use those quick links, people. Speaking of links, there's also a link to our website down there. You should go check it out and head on over to the, the store and uh, maybe even do some purchasing of our Thumbby stickers or our Booyaka Shao stickers. Show your support and send them in so we can post it on our Facebook page. All right, so as soon as you get in this back alleyway, you're going to want to switch to Fembot and blast through that gold brick or the gold lock. Once you get over there, go ahead and hack the computer terminal. Once you successfully complete the terminal there, it'll give you the gold brick. We did remove the hacking, so uh, don't think that we had some special or that you have to do extra. And I did figure out, too, you do not have to collect any of the studs in those hacking situations. You can go straight for the upload thing and spam the button and end it. Now, one thing we try here is uh, we actually totally missed our opportunity. It was in that first room there that we just left. And uh, there's a chair that you need to throw with bad cop or destroy with bad cop, and it earns you a trophy achievement. And uh, we tried to do it with that chair because it was just blatantly obvious sitting there. But we didn't check our notes before we started the level, so we'll have to come back and uh, play the first couple seconds of this level over again to knock that out for you. All right, so over on the left-hand side of the fence, there is a fence you can actually melt and get into, but why do that when you can fly up and over it? 
And then there's this set of rainbow bricks down here. And I got to be honest, spoiler alert, they're not really needed being that we have somebody that can fly. So feel free to destroy these and build them up and get your boing on. But realistically, bouncing over here doesn't do us anything but uh, create a full rainbow across the alleyway. So it is the back street <laughs> alley, too. So a little bit of rainbow might be appropriate if you catch my drift. All right, up in the back right corner of this lower right area on the other side of that fence is mini kit number four. And that actually takes us back to the story elements here of this area. So we're gonna use Emmett's drill to da -da 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 drill both cracks left and right. Once you do that, you need to get up top and uh, pull down the lever, which is, uh, it looks like it's only achievable by a female, but you never know. And once you do that, you'll have both pieces well all pieces for both master builds that's what i was trying to say so this is the first one that normally gets done by a wild style in the story being that you are now a master builder you go ahead and do it yourself quit being lazy a couple robots come out to get us we do a couple butt slams a little spin to win there it's all over and done with and then we'll go ahead and get the second build on because we already have all the pieces in order and then uh oh yeah after this, we'll have the speed cycle all ready to roll. So we'll hop in that bad boy and roll out. Pew! Right through Prez Biz there. And the last mini kit is actually coming up. We do have to do a little hippa to the hoppa along this back and forth uh, here. But uh, once you get to the tanker, that you have to shoot the rear latch off or the valve off of it. Uh, at that point, there are a couple slow-mo sections that come up where four little mini cops come up, and you just got to blast them. Easiest way to do it, hold down the, the fire button. It's going to be uh, square for the PS3 and PS4, and it's going to go ahead and be, what, X for the, P or the Xbox One and Xbox 360? PC people, my bad, you're on your own. Don't know what it is. I'm sure you guys know, though. And all right, we're just advancing along the story here. Like I said, we have to get to the tanker and blow the lid off of it, which we're getting pretty close. Once we build this crane over here, it's going to swing us across, and we'll actually be on the tanker truck that I keep talking about. So you can tell it's the right one because it gives you the little cinematic scene here and also gives you this giant target on the back and says, hey, shoot the back. So try not to shoot wild style like I did. I blasted her off, but there we go. There's one of four. At this point, basically, once you hit the uh, tanker truck, just go ahead and hit the shoot button and hold it down. Don't, don't do anything else. You don't need to aim or nothing. As you can tell, there is no reticule to change where you're aiming. Uh, just hit the button, spam it. We can show all five or in the bag. Now, uh, it has been proven, too, that you can go ahead and save and exit the level once you have all of the items, and you will be safe and be able to continue with everything without having to complete the level and wasting your time. But we are known as a completionist. We're going to go ahead and complete this just in case you decided not to watch our story walkthroughs and are looking for uh, all of the how-to elements for this right now as well. So, you know, your best bet, I don't know if you could switch. I didn't even try to switch characters at this point. I don't know if the character switch is available or not. Uh, if you can switch to somebody that flies, that would be uh, definitely a, a beneficial factor for you. But realistically, it's pretty easy to stay on the track and not do anything stupid. So this is kind of like the boss battle for the end of the level here. We're going to take out the four mini trucks down below. Sorry, Paz. Got to get rid of the mini trucks. And uh, if you don't know Paz, uh, Paz is a mini trucker. Mini trucks died a long time ago, and he still has like six of them. So anyways, got love for my boy Paz. Florida represented. Anyways, uh, take out the four again and hit him in the underbelly, the little silver spot that shines. Repeat that twice. And uh, one last little segment here where we got to blast the back of the uh, luggage rack. We hop across. Once we get across, uh, we have to wait for the truck to move over, jump over. We're going to have one last master build coming up here in just a hot second. But... Before we do that, we do have to actually find the truck with all of the vehicles on it, which we have just done. So take out the two mini trucks again. Try to avoid all of the rockets being blasted at you by all the vehicles, all the enemies. And uh, make sure you take out all of the middle stuff there. Once you get all three of the green items, it'll switch to the side here. You're going to want to target both helicopters and your speed cycle. 
I got blasted a few times, so it knocked me off. But look at that. We got free play level two complete. We're uh, stacking up more money than we will ever know what to do with, right? It's ridiculous. And that's sad, too, because uh, we have no more characters to buy. We've bought all the characters at this point, so... Lame. There's no more use for money. In fact, uh, here in a couple levels, I actually quit turning on my multiplier, because why? We got the pants. We got all five gold instruction manuals. We get a couple of bricks for uh, picking up those extra items. And uh, that'll go ahead and wrap up level two, Escape from Bricksburg. Free play for Lego the movie video game, or Lego movie video game, however you want to say it. Head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below, get involved in the conversations, get a chance at winning some stickers. If uh, you're impatient, you don't like to wait for winning, and you simply want to get some stickers, we do offer uh, the Thumby and Buyukashao stickers in our web store at happythumbsgaming.com. Pretty reasonable. Uh, if you're in the U.S., it's even free shipping, too. So, yeah, buddy. Sorry, international shippers. Uh, it does cost us quite a bit extra to send it to you. So, got to make that money somehow. But, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Until next time, which will be level three. <laughs>